What's going on everybody? Cheyenne Bostock here. You already know what time it is. It's Free Advice Wednesday. Y'all send me the questions and I give you the answers that's going to help you in life, love, and relationships. And I got these lights going crazy in the background because it's an emergency that I get you this information. And I'm going to give it to you right now. Okay, so this week we're gonna be talking about something that I know is a very sensitive topic for a lot of single women. And that topic is how to train your man. Now ladies, when I say train, coach, or teach your man, I'm not talking about some of the things that mom should have taught their son when they were a young boy. Folding clothes, washing dishes, taking out the trash, stuff like that. No, I'm talking about how to be with you specifically. Now a man has plenty of experience dealing with other women being with other women intimately and romantically, but none of that has anything to do with you. What he needs to know is how you like to be kissed, how you like to be touched, how you like to be interacted with. He needs to know that from you. And the only way he's gonna get this training is if you facilitate it. You see ladies, when a man meets a woman, he immediately starts the training. He goes up to her, talks to her, engages with her. He's looking for a certain level of energy. And if that level of energy is not there, he's not going to continue to proceed with her because he has a certain standard of how he wants a woman to be with him. So what are some examples of a woman training a man? For example, your birthday. You might be the type that wants a handwritten card or chocolates. Maybe your love language is gifts or words of affirmation. Whatever that is, he needs to know specifically from you. If you don't teach him, if you don't coach him, if you don't train him, he's gonna drop the ball every single birthday until you communicate, honey, listen, I really like it when you do this, or I don't like it when you do that. This gives him an opportunity to step up and meet your standard. And in the end, you both get a win-win. So once you've done the training and you've set the standard and you've set the requirements, you can look forward to him meeting your expectations over and over again. And this is one of the reasons why a lot of women are so disappointed when Valentine's Day comes around because they don't know what to expect from the guy. Why don't they know what to expect from the guy? Because they never trained him. They never coached him. They never taught him on how to be with her. They're thinking, oh, you should know I want chocolates on Valentine's Day. You should know I want roses. You should know I want to go out. No, not every woman wants that. You need to communicate that that's something that you want specifically from him. And once you do that, once he understands that this is what you like, you give him the opportunity to meet the standard. And if he doesn't meet the standard, what you do is you pick the man up. You got to use your legs. Pick the man up and throw the whole man away. But if he is meeting your expectations, he is meeting your standards and requirements, then that's someone you continue to coach, train, and teach day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year, forever. It's an ongoing process teaching, coaching, and training your man on how to be with you. So why is this even important? It's important because each and every one of us is responsible for taking accountability for our lives. That means if you're in a relationship with someone who constantly lets you down, they're constantly disappointing you, they're constantly just missing the mark, you have to take a look in the mirror and say, did I communicate my feelings? Did I communicate my thoughts? Did I set a standard? Did I set a requirement? Did I give him something to do? Did I train him properly? Or am I relying on all the other women from his past? Or the, his mother, or his aunt, or his grandma? Am I relying on all of these other women to train your man on how to be with you? I want you to think about how silly that sounds. You want his mama to teach him how to be with you while you just sit back and you relax and you just snap your fingers and things get done. How will he know what to do if you don't train him? You might want your feet tickled. I don't know. Mama's not teaching him how to do that. Mama doesn't know that that's something specific to you that you want. You have to take accountability and responsibility for how the man treats you. So if you're one of those ladies who doesn't want to do the work, you don't want to teach, you don't want to train, you don't want to coach, hey, continue suffering. 
<laughs> continue suffering. See, us men, we don't have those problems, especially alpha men. We teach, we coach, we train. It must be this way. And if it's not this way, you're gone. And you need to be the same way with the men that you're dealing with. If he's not treating you the way you are teaching and coaching and training him, use your legs. Pick the man up and throw the whole man away. But what you can't do is get upset when a man is not meeting standards that you never set. He's not meeting requirements that you've never set. He's not meeting the expectations that you've never presented to him. So if you want it to be kissed behind your ear, you have to teach him that. You have to coach him on that. You have to train him on that. If you want him to travel with you um, on the holidays, you want him to meet your family, you want him to meet your friends, you want him to do all of these things that are important to you, you have to express that and communicate these things to him early, 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 in the beginning. It's training. When you go to a new job, do they let you stay at the job for two years, three years, five years, 10 years with no training? No. They train you as soon as you get your ashy behind in the door. Immediately. Why? Because they want you to get the job done right from the beginning. And it's too costly. It's too expensive to let you go day to day, week to week, month to month with no training. So why do you do that in a relationship? Don't go another day without training your man. It's difficult to reprogram someone who's set in their ways. They've been at the company for months years and there's been no discipline, no training, no coaching, no teaching, and then here comes some outside consultant trying to change the morale of the company overnight. No, what you have to do is fire some people and then restart the training with someone new because that person isn't going to get it. They're not going to respect you enough to make changes. They're not going to want to adjust. They're not going to want to do the thing that you expect them to do. So you have to start from the very beginning, training people on how to be with you. And if you don't want to do the training, you don't want to do the coaching, you don't want to do the teaching, then suffer the consequences of just getting whatever it is that man brings into your life. Random crumbs, things that you don't even care about, you don't value, you don't want. It's going to be all about him. He's going to be winning. He's going to be getting the better of you. And you're not going to be happy and satisfied because you're not communicating to the guy, this is what I want. This is what I need. This is my love language. And I need you to respond to it. You need to be a coach. You need to be a consultant. You need to be his teacher, guiding him on how to be with you. Now that's all I got for this free advice Wednesday. Y'all be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this post with someone that you care about. I'll see y'all next week. If you're a single woman who's looking to attract her ideal mate, click the link below to apply to join my coaching program where I help single women just like you to strategize and attract their ideal mate. Click the link below or go to CheyenneBostock.com slash coaching.